Okay, so for the rice stitch, you need an odd number. For this example, I'm going to chain 21. Okay, so when you have your odd number, in my case 21, you are going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three, and you're gonna do one double crochet in each stitch for the entire row. This pattern um, is pretty easy. It makes a stretchy kind of raised line texture. It uses front and back post double crochet. So after um, the second row, you just repeat that until you have the length that you want. You're always going to start and end with a half double crochet followed by a front post double crochet so they match on each end okay when you get to the end of your row of double crochet you're going to want to chain one and turn few more stitches okay so you'll want to have 20 stitches you're going to chain one and you just have a row of double crochet like this in the first stitch, you're going to half double crochet. And then you are going to front post double crochet around the second stitch. So this, um, you're not going to um, double crochet up here where you normally would, but you're going to go around the post. So front, you enter, you yarn over, you go from the front behind and back around the post of the double crochet and then you finish the double crochet like you normally do then alternating back then you go from the back to the front around the post you yarn over you pull up your loop you yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through the last two so then you should have two stitches that look like this one raised one front one back and then you're going to do another front alternating back and forth so you yarn over Insert from the front, go around the back, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Then you're going to come from the back, around the front, back, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through the last two. And then you're just going to keep alternating. So now you have a front, back, front, back, so you're going to do your front next and a back front back and you keep continuing. This pattern works good for blankets, scarves, ear warmers. It has a little bit of stretch and it has a good um, texture so you can see it well on um, bulky um, yarn. And you're going to keep alternating. You should end up, when you have two stitches, the last stitch 
should be, um, the second to last stitch should be a front post double crochet. And then the last stitch is going to be a half double crochet. So here I am at the end and I have two stitches left. I have this one and then the chain from the row before. And I am going to front post double crochet around this one. And then I am going to do one half double crochet on top of the chain. And so your work should look like this. You have the raised lines and then you're going to repeat the second row for the rest of the work. So you chain one, half double crochet in the first stitch, and then you are going to front post double crochet around the second stitch. Then back post. And you're just going to keep alternating. And I'll finish this row so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm down to the last two stitches of the row. You're going to do the front post double crochet and a half double crochet in the last stitch. And this is what your um, work will look like. Kind of has a little bit of a stretch and um, it makes the raised lines. And to continue, you would chain one, turn your work, do a half double crochet in the first stitch, and then a front post double crochet, and continue on. So you can find this pattern um, on my blog, a more crafty life. Um, there's also a washcloth pattern that you can easily do to try out the stitch. Thanks for watching.